Hello everyone, greeting of the day. Welcome to my channel Economics at a Glance. Today we will study consumer surplus. Before moving to the video, let me tell you don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so that you can access all my videos which contains MCQs and PDFs and all the answers related to that MCQs. So let's get started. So consumer surplus, as I have told you, before moving to any economic laws, you have to consider five things. Assumption, definition, graph, schedule and limitation. Okay, so what is the definition of consumer surplus? See, consumer surplus definition is the difference between what you are willing to pay, WP, and what you have actually paid, that difference. See, let's take an example. Suppose you are moving to a mobile shop to purchase a Samsung phone and you have set in your mind, my budget is 20,000. Between 20,000 or 20,000 rupees, I will purchase that Samsung phone. But when you reach to that shop, you came to know that that same phone which you have planned that you can take it in only 16,000 rupees. Imagine, see, you have thought of taking 20,000 rupees but if what you have actually gave 16,000 rupees that means you are left with 4,000 rupees that is your consumer surplus getting my point you are in benefit yes or no so this is your definition then assumption assumptions are first your marginal utility of money should be constant which is the assumption for all cardinal approach, LEMU, LEMU and consumer surplus. I have mentioned those in my previous videos. If you have not seen that, you can easily access because the link I have mentioned in my description box. So next is, there should not be any substitute. That means if you thought of purchasing Samsung means you will purchase Samsung. You cannot switch to Oppo or Vivo. Okay. Next is your income, taste, preference, it should be constant. And lastly, the commodities should be independent to each other. These are the assumptions. If it will keep true, we can move to consumer surplus. So what is the graphical explanation? See, let it, uh, this is x-axis and this is y-axis. Suppose I will take quantity in x-axis and price in y-axis. Okay, clear quantity in x-axis, price in y-axis. We have thought to pay 20,000 rupees. Okay. That is my P. What I have thought. What I actually pay? 16,000. Let's say 16K. 16,000 rupees. This is 20K. P1. P1 is less than P. 16,000. So at 16,000 rupees I have purchased my phone. So this area. This vacant area is my surplus P, P1 and L triangle P, P1 and L is my consumer surplus getting? ok next is what is the relationship between the change in price and consumer surplus see consumer surplus is inversely proportional to price how? see Inversely proportional to price means if price will increase then consumer surplus will decline. Similarly, if price will decrease, consumer surplus will increase. How? See, this here your consumer surplus is P, P1, L. Remember, now see, uh, suppose the price has been decreased to 14,000 rupees. Initially it was 60, now we will make it 14,000. See, 14,000, 14,000 means we will purchase here, yes or no? So what happened to this consumer surplus? Instead of this triangle, we have to take this triangle. See, this much big triangle. So it is, if we can take it as L1, so triangle P, this is P2 and L1 is your new consumer surplus. That means when your price has been decreased, consumer surplus has been increased. 
Opposite. If we will increase the price. Suppose your price is 18,000. That is P3. Okay. So you will purchase at this point. And suppose that is L2. What is your consumer surplus here? P, P3 and L2. See this area. This darkening area. This is your new consumer surplus. That is P, P3, L2. Which shows that when your price is increased, your consumer surplus has declined. Getting my point? So, it is inversely proportional. Getting the point? Definition, assumption, explanation. Now coming to limitation. What are the limitations? See. First assumption is marginal utility of money is constant. But we all know that marginal utility of money is not constant. It depends upon one's frame of mind. I have already discussed in my previous video in LDMU and LEMU. If you have not seen that video, you can go to that video because link I have mentioned in the description box. Okay. So it depends upon one's frame of mind. It is less for the rich people and more for the uh, poor people. Then the no substitutes we have assumed. But see, if Samsung phone is not there, you can easily switch to Oppo or Vivo. Yes or no? So there is no commodity for which there is no substitute. For everything there is a substitute. Then next is income, taste and preference should be constant. But it generally varies. We cannot say our taste will be constant for a long period of time. It will vary. So these are the limitations in my explanation, assumption, geographical explanation and limitations. So this is all about consumer surplus. In my next video, I will come with the numerical calculation of consumer surplus. If you want to access the numerical problems, how to solve them, be with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so that you can access all the videos which contain MCQs, PDF and the link of my previous videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.